Good evening, Matt. It's time for another Thursday Top 5. But before that, I will say, some of those places you went to at the beach that you showed me yesterday were really awesome. And I think if we go back in that area, I'm totally going to have to go check those out because they looked really cool. And that one park that was by one of the lighthouses, it started with a B, I can't remember the name off the that top of my head, but that looked really cool. And like, I'd be really interested to go and like check that out and do all sorts of fun stuff there. So anyways, to start off this Thursday Top 5, it's going to be my top five favorite meals that I've had in the favorite new meals, let me be specific, um, that I've had in the past few months, I guess it has been, probably from summer till now. And starting out with number five, it's that um, lamb and beef meatball served on rice dish that's at Mooney's restaurant. That's awesome. It's amazing. I get it every time I go there now. It's quite wonderful. Number four would have to be my spring rolls that I made yesterday because they were very good. I think I'd like mine with more veggies. I didn't put too, too much in it, but I think that was because my tortilla, my rice paper sheets were only 22, in 22 centimeters in diameter. So I think if I get the 25, I can kind of pack a little bit more of the filling into it and get a more full bite to it. But what really sold it is the peanut sauce that came that I made alongside it. It was very tasty. Number three would have to be lemon garlic pasta with fresh veggies that I made tonight. I kind of ventured off the recipe a little bit and steamed the vegetables a little more than they than it even asked. It just had it them being pan fried in a large skillet, but I, my our skillet was not big enough for all of them. So I wanted to make sure that everything kind of got cooked um, to that nice like almost partially cooked, but still has a nice crunch to it. And mom had a great idea to put Parmesan cheese on top of it. So that was fantastic. So number two would have to be, it's not really a meal per se, but it's these um, oatmeal fruit filled breakfast bars. It's basically what you would think when you think of a breakfast bar. It was oatmeal flour, some brown sugar, lemon juice, a lot of lemon juice, 12 lemons worth of lemon juice. But it also combined blueberries, and I also made one with raspberries, and it was phenomenally good. It was very tasty. I think for next time, though, because it they turned out the bottom really was really thick. The bottom was about that thick, whereas the whole bar is only about that big. And so I think next time I'm going to use a little bit bigger pan and spread it out a little bit more, maybe cook it a little less, and add more filling, because I, I want more of the filling, and it's was really tasty though they're both like really sweet it's like a sweetness but it's there's enough oatmeal with it that it kind of is like okay I'm eating like a jelly spread on a bagel kind of the kind of like um, sweetness to it it's very tasty and number one would have to be mom's shrimp tacos now I know that it might not have been new this in like from summer to now but she did make them before but she just made them recently and oh my gosh, were they fantastic. It, they just, I had like, I had four that she toasted the tortilla and then I built like this big salad out of the rest of the stuff and it was just amazing, it was phenomenal. The shrimp she cooked it in is just perfect and it's just, or the, the sauce that she cooked the shrimp in was perfect and it was just wonderful. So I think that's about it for this vlog, um, for this Thursday Top 5. And so I look forward to your video tomorrow, and I hope you have a good one, Matt.